editing on an iPad Pro GH5 files. Hey guys, Fitzy here. Today we're talking about the iPad Pro 11 inch, the model from last year, 2018. And can it actually edit GH5 files where I'm currently shooting on? And this whole video will be edited on an iPad Pro. Yay. Basically, before I had an iPad Pro, I was wondering, can I actually um, edit 4K60 on an iPad? And also, can I edit 10-bit? And today we will find out. I used this iPad now for a whole week and I shot a lot of footage. Now it's editing time. We're talking about a 30 gigabyte project where we went to Ginny Springs and did a lot of shenanigans. Shot on a GH5, on a GoPro, um, that shot like 4K and that was more like a big project, not like high frame rates and high quality, but a lot of files. And then we also test like, can it actually play back smoothly like 4K 60? Can it play back um, 4K 10 bit and all those things? I'm also not a really big Apple fanboy, but I have to say this thing grew on me because the freedom that I gained through the mobility and like the small size and form factor of the iPad, is like pretty awesome. So can the iPad Pro be your main editing machine on the go? First off, I used LumaFusion because it's one of the best video editing apps out there because they go above and beyond. Like I said, iOS does not support 10-bit. LumaFusion goes the extra mile and supports video files that are not supported on the main iOS where it's operating from. So that means a lot. Like you can see, the um, 4K60 is um, with scrubbing through absolutely no problem. And actually it's screen recorded. So that is even harder. If I would do that on my main PC, that would not flow as well. I think it's the iOS system, how it operates, and it's just a little bit more efficient with the codecs. Not 100% sure, but it's some magic right there. On the other hand, the 10 bit, it works. but there's like little hiccups. So if you have a lot of 10-bit files, it's usually crashing. I was trying to export video files, so I shot a video, I edited it, absolutely no problem. It crashes and you reopen it and everything's fine. Everything is there where it is or where you was last. But if you hit export and you hit a spot where it's like a multiple 10-bit files or a certain format, it can crash, it cannot crash, it's really iffy. So 10-bit is not reliable. But on the other hand, 4K 60 and just regular 4K, absolutely no problem. Smooth scrubbing through. It's absolutely pleasant to edit with a um, pen because I really dig the pen. I currently love the freedom that I got from the iPad. I can go wherever I want. I can be at a coffee spot. I can be at a camping ground. I just can be in my living room where it's really weird to edit with a laptop where you basically, oh, and you need a table. You need to have something for your mouse. But with a pen and a pad, it's absolutely... Uh, <laughs> It's absolutely good. <laughs> it's absolutely great. Yeah, it hurts saying, but I really enjoy it. And I'm not an Apple fanboy, so those words are really painful. <laughs> Anyhow, one major aspect that most people don't think about is you can upload from an iPad basically to apps. So you can download Snapchat, Instagram, all that jazz, TikTok, and upload directly from here too. Um, those apps because yeah it's not a PC and it's not a MacBook so the middle stage of being a tablet is actually a big advantage and it's probably better to have less power and have more options also if you know a couple apps that I don't know like Affinity Photo, um, LumaFusion anything in those kinds please hit me up with what apps you're using because I'm kind of curious about it what should I add to my um, arsenal because currently I use it as a screen reader and I can write my notes and whatever and just go down there so what are your thoughts on the iPad Pro um, as a laptop desktop replacement 